Well, Metro is a fast way to get around the DMV daily, but for some it can also be scary, especially for those with autism. DC News Now's Dave Laval joining us from the Franconia Springfield Metro Station with details now on how Metro plans on making the trip easier and safer for everyone. Metro wants the communities it serves to know it's stronger when everyone has access to affordable and dependable public transportation. And that includes those with autism. The train goes. Five year old Chase Powell of DC is fascinated with trains. He loves trains, and so we're here. Ebony Powell and her family get to see the inside of a Metro Rail car, along with dozens of other families. What they share in common is each family has a child with autism. They lead somewhere. Eddie Floyd of D.C. is 12 years old. There are a lot of day-to-day -day indignities that you face as an individual with a disability. And, you know, seeing your child go through that is really, it's taxing. But this day at the Springfield Franconia Metro Station is all about inclusion. Everyone here has a place at Metro. Metro boss Randy Clark welcomes the families for the second straight year who are with the Autism Transit Project. It makes us feel seen in a way that you know, we often don't. One of the biggest things that we as parents want for our kids with autism is inclusion. The founder of the project says trains can help those with the disability. They start to get comfortable with language and, and listen to what's being said and may start to speak via echolalia, um, the first words they say. But this day is for children with autism to be just like everyone else. Once again, the children recorded safety messages that will be played at all metro stations. In Springfield, Dave Laval, DC News Now.